Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Chemistry Unplugged. Today we will discuss about Grignard reagent, its formation and synthetic applications. Grignard reagent is a type of organometallic compound. We can represent it by RMGX and it is good source of nucleophilic carbon. How? In Grignard reagent, carbon and Magnesium atom are bonded together. So carbon has electronegativity is equal to 2.5 and magnesium has 1.3. So due to the difference in this electronegativity, there is development of polarization. And because carbon has more electronegativity, so the shared pair of electron is shifted towards carbon. So it has delta negative charge while magnesium has positive charge. Negative carbon is nucleophilic in nature. How we can synthesize Grignard reagent? For this we use magnesium turnings, alkyl or aryl halides and ether solvent. So in this reaction we use Rx and diethyl ether as a solvent. So two molecules of diethyl ether coordinate with RMGX. Ether solvent is essential for this reaction because magnesium atom has only 4 electrons in its outer shell. So, to form octet, it needs 2 more lone pair of electrons which are provided by ether. Therefore, coordination allows Grignard region to dissolve in solvent. In this reaction, we have used diethyl ether. We can also use tetrahydrofuron, dimethoxyethane or DME. When we want to form Grignard reagent, then organic compounds or organic halides should not contain acidic hydrogen or a functional group which has acidic hydrogen like OH, NH, SH or COOH. Otherwise, the Grignard reagent formed will react with these functional groups. The mechanism of Grignard reagent formation is basically oxidative insertion or oxidative addition. I have already told you about oxidative insertion or oxidative addition in Wilkinson Catalyst video. The link of that video I will mention in the description box. So oxidative insertion is basically insertion of magnesium atom in the halide molecule and this process involves increase in the oxidation number of magnesium also. Because in magnesium atom it is present in zero state and in the Grignard region it is in plus two state. Therefore it is also called as oxidative addition. Then here are few examples of Grignard reagent formation. We can use bromides. We can also use aryl iodides. Then we can use uh, allyl group. Then I have already told you that Grignard reagent is very sensitive for the acidic compound and for the moisture because in the Grignard region R has partial negative charge means it is in carbon ion state and in the acidic compound suppose we have alcohol in this the hydrogen is acidic in nature so it has partially positive charge so the alkyl group of RMGX can combine with H atom of alcohol to form hydrocarbon. Similarly, in case of alkynes, alkynes have sp hybridization. Therefore, CH bond is acidic in nature. When it comes in contact of Grignard reagent, which is basic in nature, this hydrogen can easily be removed and we can have a Grignard reagent containing alkyne group. Then synthetic applications of Grignard reagent. First is aldehyde and ketones to alcohol. If we use aldehyde for this reaction, then the, this bond will break and oxygen has negative charge. So it can combine positively charged MgBr and this carbonyl can attack here. So we have this intermediate, tetrahedral intermediate. Then we use H3O plus and it will undergo hydrolysis. So we have a secondary alcohol here. If we use formaldehyde, then we get primary alcohol. Then we use a ketone for this reaction and we get a tertiary alcohol. Then in the next reaction, we are using acetaldehyde and isopropyl containing Grignard reagent. Then this isopropyl group will attach here and this carbonyl oxygen will convert it into 
alcohol. In the next example, this complete group will convert it into a carbon ion because this carbon is negatively charged. So it will attach here and this oxygen of carbonyl group will convert it into alcohol. So we get a tertiary alcohol here. Acyl chlorides can be converted into ketones. So in this reaction, the halide will be replaced by the carbon ion. So the Grignard reagent will be removed as MgXCl. So we have a ketone here. In next example, we have this Cl group here. So the this whole carbon ion group will attach here and this Cl will be removed from the reaction. Then reaction with nitriles. In the nitriles, because nitrogen has more electronegativity than carbon, so the shared pair of electron will be shifted toward nitrogen. So it has like partially negative charge and it will attach MgX. And this R2 group will attach on this carbon. In the next, we do its hydrolysis. So H of water will attach with N and MgX OH will be removed. Then we have this imine compound here. Then in the next step, it will undergo again hydrolysis and we have ketone. The reaction with amides. 1 and 2 degree amides contain acidic hydrogens because they have NH group. So the hydrogen connected with nitrogen is acidic in nature. So the, the hydrogen will be removed as hydrocarbons with the Grignard reagent. For example, we have a primary amide and when we react it with R2MGX, then this R2 group of Grignard reagent will remove one of the hydrogen atom will form a hydrocarbon but in case of three degree amide because they do not have any hydrogen they can combine with Grignard reagent in different manner this amide group will attach on this carbon atom then we do its hydrolysis so we have a OH group here and one hydrogen atom will attach on this nitrogen so this nitrogen has positive charge so this bond will break and this bond will shift here. So we have a ketone. Then the reaction with CO2 and it leads to the formation of carboxylic acid. So this bond will shift to oxygen atom. So it is partially negatively charged. So we have this intermediate. It will undergo hydrolysis and the H of water will combine with this O and we have carboxylic acid. We can also use very hindered chlorides for this reaction. For example, this in case we first form a Grignard reagent using magnesium and tetrahydrofuron, then we use carbon dioxide and we will do its hydrolysis and we have a carboxylic compound. Then reaction with epoxides. Generally, Grignard reagents do not react with strain free cyclic ethers, but but it can react with strained epoxide like this one. So Grignard reagent generally attacks on less hindered or less substituted carbon. So in this reaction, we are using this Grignard reagent and this will this bond of this epoxide will break and this ring will attach on this carbon because it is less substituted or less hindered. So we have this and the oxygen atom containing negative, negative charge will attach with MgBr. So we have this structure and it will undergo hydrolysis to form a secondary alcohol. So in this way, the ring of the epoxide will break. Then reaction with elements other than carbon. Suppose we are using sulfur here. So it forms thiols with Grignard reagent. And when we are using SO2, then they will form sulfenic acid. Then we can also use oxygen to form peroxides. For example, in this reaction, we have tertiary butyl Grignard reagent MgX. And when we react it with oxygen, this oxygen will insert here and it will undergo hydrolysis to form tertiary butyl hydro hydroperoxide. Then reaction with esters. Suppose we have this X ester and we are using MeMgBr. So in the first step, the Grignard reagent 
MGPR of Grignard reagent will attach with oxygen and ME group will attach here. So oxygen has negative charge because MGPR is present in the form of MGPR plus and oxygen has negative charge. So in the next step, this negative charge will shift here to form double bond and this bond will break and we have a ketone compound but in the next step it again reacts with Grignard reagent because, because ketones react with Grignard reagent to form tertiary alcohol. We have seen this reaction earlier. So esters first form ketones and then tertiary alcohol. In this way one molecule of ester needs two molecules of Grignard reagent for complete reaction. Then reaction with alpha beta unsaturated carbonyls. Grignard reagent react with alpha beta unsaturated aldehydes and ketones to form allyl alcohol and upon dehydration these allyl alcohols form dienes like this. But when we use 1% copper chloride in this reaction then we have different products. In that case we have carbonyls and dienes. Then how this carbonyl is formed? So when we use 1% copper chloride, it reacts with Grignard reagent to form organo copper compound. And these organo copper compound, like in this case we have methylene copper, and these organo compound, organo copper compound will attack on the double bond because they are softer in nature as compared to Grignard reagent. So they will attack on softer double bond means that in case of organo copper compounds copper is less electropositive and in Grignard reagent magnesium is more electropositive than copper. So therefore carbon with magnesium bond is more polarized than carbon copper bonds. Therefore organo copper compounds are considered as softer as compared to Grignard reagent and double bond is less polarized as compared to C double bond O. Therefore, organo copper compound will attack on, preferentially attacks on double bond. So it will attack on this carbon atom and this bond will shift here and oxygen has negative charge. In next step, MgPr Cl will attack on this oxygen atom to form MgBr plus O MgBr plus and then it will undergo hydrolysis to form double bond OH and it may tautomerize to form carbonyl compound. So that's it. I will end my today's video here. Thank you so much for watching my videos and please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends.